Alright guys, let's play some AP Shaco. So yeah, this is going to be a live cast. I've never done a live cast with AP Shaco before. And that is mostly due to the fact that I like scream like crazy. Um, uh, a lot of times, that you know, you sit in bushes. And I know that I hate that. I hate that people stereotype AP Shaco honestly with, Oh, you just sit in bushes and wait for him to do boxes. But no, it gives your team so much map control. And if a team uses an AP Shaco effectively and really understands kind of his role in the game, and if you're split pushing correctly, you can do really well. Um, I went like 15-2 last time I played Shaco, and really the key is split pushing, putting boxes so that you can't get ganked. Because honestly, that fear does give you enough time that you can Q get away. I've honestly had people with oracles chase me, and you can juke with your Q because they don't know which way you're jumping to. So just jump to the like least suspecting place. And this isn't going to be a guide or a tutorial because obviously I'm doing this live, and I'm honestly probably not going to be talking that much. So, um, yeah. Just watch the ownage. I actually might get destroyed. Katarina is a free character this week. Urgot's a free character this week. That means two freebies on our team. Um, Mouse is free, but that's about it. Otherwise, their team comp is looking rather terrifying. Um, yes, I'm just going to kind of play this one by ear as far as... I have the wrong summoners, too. Um... Yeah, I would really rather have Ignite here. Huh. Hopefully I don't get too beasted. Alright, so you're going to watch me fail to buy stuff fast. Yeah, it just goes to bot, but you're going to notice, see, I get out of spawn much faster than everyone else. Um, um, not just because it goes to the obvious loop, but because, you know, I can buy my items at a faster pace, because I obviously play them a lot. And like this kid who bought, oh, I guess he bought. Um, they're going to realize I'm like AP Shaco, and then they're going to start the hatred on me. Ugh, I guess I'm going to go for this one. So there's a lot of glitches in these woods, and like, sometimes they can see your boxes, even when they're invisible. Sometimes, like, they're, like, sometimes you can see them through fog of war, so people just know where I am on the map, even though, like, they have no vision of me. It, it's retarded. So if any of you guys want to help our cause, go to their forums, go in general discussion, type at riot, shako box glitches, please fix, and then link them to a video of all the glitches, which I will leave in the description if I post this video. I might not. I don't know. It might be a really bad game where, like, noobs feed like me. Because sometimes I do that. Sometimes I have bad shako games. I'm not, like, super boss mode shako all the time. Though I'd like to think I'm all right. So, yeah. Obviously, tra talking and playing probably not going to help me out, but we'll see. Um, even if this is a terrible game and I like feed, I might still post it. I don't know. I don't have a video for tonight if I don't, so. Lamo. Wow, that was stupid. If I had Ignite, she would have died, but I didn't, and the Singe didn't do anything. So hopefully you get some, let's be get a lot of CS, and that Ash really wants to die. So once he gets level 2, holy crap. Nice, took down Oriana. So Irelia, obviously not the one I want to harass, because she does have that great... Um, heal ability, which is with her Q, I believe, and I honestly don't like laning against them. Uh, my, my best character, which is my Nidalee, um, I, I can usually beat an Oriana, I mean an Irelia, but it's still annoying, you know, if that makes sense, and somehow they're out-leveling us, and the boxes do about 200 damage just with two shots, 
they are going to be forced to focus the boxes. And one thing with Shaco is you just don't want to give up control of of just like the space you own. That's one of the biggest advantages of being AP Shaco. You just own space. Um, and this goes all the way into the late game, the fact that you just own general space. And I'm going to just keep harassing her, just keep her away from CS, and play almost like an anti-carry does in a team fight, but in lane phase. Just try and stop her from CSing. And now I've got Irelia. She's going to want bush control. I don't think she's going to get it. Try and CS a little better. It is a little hard because... Um, I don't actually do damage without, you know, I don't have any damage runes, and I'm never building damage, so I honestly do have a pretty tough time in this game last hitting. Um, you see my last hits are obviously a little better because I practice. I'm at 15. I actually have the highest CS in the game. But, um, I mean, I do play at a, a pretty high elo, um, so I know how to CS, obviously. And you guys can probably hear my mouse clicking. I do a lot of clicking. It makes me look cool, among other things. Also gives me good CS. So yeah, I might post this video just so I can show off how boss my CS is. Look at this, 20 CS, and beating everyone by a lot, which is funny. Our Katarina should get back to lane before we lose. So you do want to put your boxes a little bit on the inside so that they stop getting raffle stomped by minions. I honestly, minions bother me so much because sometimes they can aggro it at the incorrect distances and I don't know if the Singe is going for CS but he should back up. Oh wow, wow, I missed two in a row. Um, one thing I've really learned if you guys are trying to, you know, play this game at a higher level and if you really want to get good and, um, you know, I, I know a lot of people do obviously want to play this game to get good and get better. Oh, I didn't even see that. Oh, wow, nice flip, Shago. Shoot, flip the other one, like squishy one. The one I'm harassing. Oh god, I don't. I should have popped flash. Maybe um, that was a little ballsy. I'm gonna pop my health pot there. Um, they are pushing back, which is interesting. Um, you know, I'm not really worried because Shen's so good in lane. Or not Shen, sorry. Um. See, I know they want to kill me. They want me out of this lane because they find me annoying. And that's what I really love about Shaco is I'm just annoying. And, like, they don't have, a, like, a Myoki. Myoki is probably the direct counter to AP Shaco, I'll be honest. It is the worst laning with him because he'll just harass you to death. Oh wow, they're camping my boxes. That's so cute. And I picked that up. I'm just gonna flash out of there, you know. Do something a little cutie. I wanna kill her though. So like, this guy should uh, do his job. Go screw her up. Yes, there we go. Get some flash going in on here. Wow, if he had thrown her, I would've killed her. Just throw her. Throw her into your poison. Ugh, whatever. Don't throw her. Whatever, he's feeding me kills at this point, and I'm doing quite well. I just hit a minion, and now I'm out of freaking mana. Dang it. Oh, wow. I can't believe I missed that CS. So I'm at 25 farm. I'm even with mid. Which, you know, I dropped a little bit. I used to be ahead of her. But it's okay. Alright, I'm actually going to back now. And Singed, if you had used your poison effectively, you could have thrown her. We could have had some serious damage on her. But, you know. It's all good. I'm going to back appropriately for Cage's pick. Level 1 boots. And some mana regen. And I'm currently 1 0. We are definitely owning our lane. Um, Ash and Irelius farm adds up to a total of um, 40. Ours adds up to a total of 38. 
son of a monkey. Well, I'm out farming both of them. So, it's not my fault since you can't farm. Did he just ult? He did just ult. Interesting. Not really sure why. But, you go for her. Go. Oh, he doesn't have enough mana to do anything at all. I'm just going to farm. In this time. Oh, wow. Interesting. Kind of annoying. I mean... This is when it gets fun, though. When I get my ult, this game starts getting a lot more fun. But sadly, he's going to back, so he's not going to be able to notice my amazingness. And so I'm just going to throw my ults up and do a little swapper. I like doing this sometimes, just so they can know who's not know who's who. Oh my god, I don't have Ignite. Or if I got any extra amplifying tomb, she would have died. Like, honestly, any, any of the following would have helped me. But, wait, how is this Cho'Gath level 7? Is Cho'Gath mid? Do they have 2 mid? Anyway, that Ash is going to die the second I get back to lane. That was just stupid on my part. I really overcommitted into that. Hmm. I'm kind of angry. Because on the one hand, I should have had a knight to kill her. On the other hand, it was my fault completely. No, what are you doing? There we go. So I get my kill, but I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure what's going on here. I'm not hitting as hard as I should be. I'm going to be a lot less greedy now. Mids me, apparently. So, just put some boxes down. Make sure we don't get gank sword. And this Irelia is just really annoying in lane. She's just... Uh, she's she's kind of overpowered at this point in the, in the game stage. Um... I would definitely consider her an OP hero. Um, she's just she's too strong. Her sustain is amazingly is is too good. Like she, her sustain is sustain is literally unstoppable. She'll never have to back if she's not stupid. And I don't know, I'm not a big fan of her as um, I want to get here. Oh, I didn't get a hit on Ash. Lame sauce. I think she lost quite a bit of health there for killing a little boxy. I've died once, so I'm not doing incredible at this point, you know. Um, I got really greedy, and if I was running Ignite, she would have died easily. But this Singed is being incredibly aggressive, and I'm not really sure why. I don't think it's necessary on Singe to be this aggressive. But, you know. It's just two different styles of play. I play my Singe pretty passive. I like getting a lot of farm. And at this point, I can Q in from behind her. And I want to get a lot of boxes, so next time she face checks that, it's a lot, a lot, lot more painful. And now we're just, I'm not getting much CS at this point. I'm going to leave it to him because I don't really need CS since I plan on getting kills now. Um, fighting Knight, that, the Ash would have died a long time ago. But because I'm here, you notice they can't move out. Um, and now that I know that they're pushed up a little more, I can feel free to stack more boxes. And I'm going to go for actually more of a sneaky ult. I haven't done this yet. So I don't know if they saw that that was an ult, but, you know, I got some farm out of it. 
asshole Ash Mia. But she was like a free kill, so honestly. And there was another glitch in case you guys missed that. The boxes focus the person. Um, like, they should focus champions, in my opinion. I think that's stupid that they wouldn't. Um, so, honestly, I think that's a glitch. But maybe it's not. I don't know. I'm talking an awful lot for the fact that I'm also playing. I need to farm some more. Let me get this last one. <laughs> you are not. And I really want to kill Zyrelia, but honestly, she's pretty unkillable. She just, she has so much sustain. And it's just, it's a really annoying lane person. Enemy, whatever you want to call it. And the Ash is getting shut down. I don't know why she's going mid. Oh, I think it's a dumb idea. And yeah, there's Irelia. She uses her ult and gets all her health back because that's just what she does. But I do have kind of a safe place um, in that if they ever come for a gank and they attack me, honestly, if I lead them here, they will die. Um, so that's pretty good. We did lose top turret first. And I don't know what if Trin's dying to these minions. If he doesn't realize his passive isn't that good anymore. Or what? But oh my god, this person's gonna face check. And look at that, look at that. They don't focus her. I mean that's a joke. I had so many boxes there that she should have died, but I mean it's it's glitches like that that really kill AP Shaco. I mean, I don't think he's a bad character. You just like I don't know. If you guys watch my burst late game, it's going to be pretty insane. And now she should be a little more aggressive, realizing Sin's not down here. But I'm honestly fine with this. I can farm much better without Singe Poison. Um, Singe Poison is really annoying because it screws up my timings. Um, as you can see, my drops, my farms dropped off a lot. It's 48. Um, it used to be much higher. But once Singe gets a lot of points in his... Um, poison it's really hard to farm around that when you're kind of the other person in the lane when you're singed that's great you get a ton of farm with your poison and it's a really good tool for it but when you're laning with a singed and that's why i definitely think he's a better solo um is you really have to be good about your last hits and i'm gonna get a little, i'm getting a little worried about um it's definitely out of lane phase so i don't want to get ganked they're playing super defensive and there we go. I'm pretty sure Malzahar was trying to ult that. I'm not really sure why. I only have two in there. I don't know if he knows that's the fake one or not. And I do have singed my good buddy back in lane with me. Sadly, this Irelia is going to be out leveling us because she was solo for a bit. Which is quite annoying. Um, singed just, just taking that Malefic Vision to the face. Which is kind of a pretty good damage dealer. Um, obviously, you don't want it to bounce to you as I just let it. Because it is dropping me so much. Wow, that really hurts. I mean, he has absolutely no AP items. And he just did a lot of damage so hopefully he's gonna face check this and get rather hurt by that and I'm gonna kill him because that was pretty freaking dumb on his part um, that's the thing though people who don't lane with you don't expect boxes to be that painful when really they quite are um, so she actually just flashed away I thought that was kind of retarded and if I can go back for her, I will. Sadly, I really is there. And 
and I will pick up that kill. Fear her, and gonna back. Um, Singe could use the solo. Hopefully, he doesn't be. <laughs> Toga says, "I think my team consists of bots or something." Could be true. Um, I usually get sorcerer shoes. You could try Ionian. Um, and then I rush right for Rapidons after I get these two core items. Um, your Deathfire Grasp or DFG is going to be doing a lot of damage. Um, this Katarina is playing very well, and this Oriana does not hit hard at all. I mean, she's taking a tower shot, and all Oriana can throw at her, and she's definitely dealing more damage. But the problem is this or this um, Irelia is getting incredibly farmed. I mean, she hasn't bought many items, so she's not that like scary, I guess. But she definitely will be. And finally, with tier two boots, I'll be running around crazy farm. Um, honestly, most games I don't really focus on farming that much as Shaco. I focus a lot more on harass and usually lane with someone who needs farm. Um, obviously, singed. Well, yes, he's good with farm. Doesn't really need it as a tank. Um, that's why I do prefer Singe solo top because if you do get the farm, obviously good for you. If you can survive that well, then yeah, go solo. But um, I don't really know what I'm getting at here. And Singe trying to engage. I don't know if I could burst that Oriana with like a death fire or something. But I definitely can pick up that kill. And take about 30% of her health. So I don't know if you want to call these KSs per se. They were assisted kills is what I'd like to call them. I mean like I just got like a triple kill. I don't know if anyone saw that. Well you guys are watching the video so you probably saw that. But it was, it was pretty close to a triple kill. Um, just beasted the majority of their team. I don't know who in our team died from that fight. I guess I guess Urgot died. He's not very good. He's 0-4. He's going to be a heavy one to carry. And we get popped up like noobs. I really want the Shago kill, and I can tell from Cat she does too, but it's best to just back out. I did see Irelia there. Not gonna chase, not gonna fret over it. Um, she can't really kill me. I do, I do insta flash, and that's the thing, is I'm pretty confident about killing her. Ooh. Oh shit! Oh wow, that was lucky. I really screwed the booch on that one. Um, I didn't use my death fire and I didn't even... I mean, I didn't have enough damage to kill anyone. But honestly, you can see my team is not very good. Um, we have an 0-4 Urgot. So Urgot is free, so it's probably first time Urgot. Katarina's owning. Trin's owning. Honestly, it's really our Urgot who's only the only person doing bad. But, you know, if, if an AD carry makes bad decision making, it can definitely affect your whole team. Um, let's say he jumps in and he, he dies. And your team basically is forced to go in. Obviously, I just made a mistake there. I should have hopped this wall and ran this way instead of that way. I went with the obvious path. And with Shaco, you never want to go with the obvious path. Um, I don't know if she's actually going to get that kill. She does not. Oh, that was my kill. Hells to the no. Also, he had blue buff. I really wanted that. What does a 13 my mommy name mean? Alright, so we're going to pick up Dragon. Honestly, for those of you... Well, everyone knows this, but Dragon is like so important in this game um in threes it's important in everything it through it is just um you want dragon control if you have a jungler dragon control if you have a roamer dragon control control dragon do it and your team will thank you 
Lame. And I don't know if they'll actually use this path, but, you know, if they do, hats off to me for calling it. Oh, crap. Crap, they juked the shit out of me. So I don't know if I'm going to make the right decision here, but I'm tempted to show them that I'm still here. Sadly, his ergot's just not hitting hard at all, but he did get off a really good ult, so, you know, hats off to that. I don't think I'm going to 1v1 Ash yet. Oh wow, I just got owned. Rules. <laughs> uh, I was waiting for my ult to come on out of charge. Um, yeah, I, I misread that. Um, I didn't know they were actually mostly mid. If I had, I definitely put boxes in the wrong place. Should have put them here. But you know, you misread team's movements. I'm not doing really that bad right now. I'm still kind of owning face. But it was kind of a misjudgment on my part. If turn baits them into those bushes, well, they're all gone now. But hmm. I don't know. I'm a little disappointed at the fact that I made that big of a blunder. But turn's making the smart push choice, which is split pushing. And I'm actually going to. And he's actually making a really smart choice. He's like, well, if Orion is here, I'm just going to go top. And that's really what you want to do. If you if you see an open lane and you think you can push it, go for it. And you're going to notice me do a little bit of something weird. And if you guys play Pichogo, you'll understand maybe. It's the fact that I can't take blue buff at all, so I'm actually going to use my ult to do it. It just it saves me health, and I just don't want to have to back this early. I mean, like, I could literally get this and I'd have to back, but CDR and mana-wise, it's just worth it. And I get it for free ish. And apparently we died down there. Unfortunate, but not the worst. Um I'm gonna go push top then. If they're all gonna be doing their little fighting over there. Yeah, see this is exactly what I want. I see four of them currently bought. And while I don't have my ults because I just use this, I have blue buff so I can spam spells extra hard. And then you start putting boxes down so I don't get ganked. Yeah, my team's getting like raffle stomped, so. And she just got like Rick rolled there, so like. I mean, that was cool, bro. Chase me, but you know, if you want to get shit. <laughs> like, she just like got owned. 
So, for any of you who watched that, please comment on how freaking awesome that was. <laughs> oh, man. So, I got, like, a free turret for my team. We lost a turret and we lost a team fight, which is unfortunate. Honestly, they should have just given away the team, the turret, so we didn't lose a team fight, too. But it's not that big a deal. I mean, we got a better turret than they did. And right now, we're actually behind in the turrets. I want to get this one. It looks like it should be free-ish. Um, this guy should die. And I'm going to get the kill, actually, because, you know, maybe should go. And I needed a new blue buff, so, you know. It works for both reasons. Um, personally, I want us to start thinking about baroning. Oh, this guy wants to die. Oh, he popped me up. He popped me up. But honestly, we're so in position to just obliterate this guy if Singe could land his friggin' poison. <laughs> Lols. Um, so I don't know where to plant boxes. I want to push bot, and so I'm gonna plant some boxes here. And at this point, I'm pretty friggin' leveled. And I have my ult. My ult has a really low cooldown at this level. And this tower does not even have that much health, but I'm still going to ult. I just de I want the definite tower kill. And my ult will tank it, so it's not really an issue. And I'm actually going to continue pushing here. They should be able to clean up that ash. Honestly, she's not that good. She ran into my boxes and got so destroyed. And there is an Oriana here, and I believe Irelia is here too. So we're going to just... Play it defensive if we can. We can hold them. Oh, they just killed my boxes, so just to get out of there. Cat should run like hell. Shit. Oh god, that cat's gonna get ulted. <sighs> That's why I don't like people backdooring with me. Honestly, it was a mistake. They're not gonna chase me. They can't catch me. Um, so like, you can't kill me, honestly. But. Because she died, it was kind of a waste. I don't know. I'm getting pretty tired, so I'm not talking super well. Yeah, let's focus the tank for them and do his job. They're all there, and Shrin Singe is going to get just owned. I don't know if you see that. If so, that's annoying. Basically, my plan now is to just push, find places to push and do it. Um, I don't want to be shot by this tower. Alright, I want to go beast this Ash. I think I can. Yeah, she should be beastable, for sure. So, I'm just going to go in behind her and beast her really quickly. Oh my god, wait, did she seriously like back or something? No. Alright, she knows I'm here if she's not stupid. Alright, well, I killed her. Um, probably shouldn't have used both my summoners for that, but I wanted her dead, so. You know, that's the price sometimes. So, honestly, if you guys can see me playing, um, this is just a live game. Like, I honestly didn't think it would be that good of a game. So I'm going to go for a little bit of a, it's not a back door per se, but you know, I'm just going to push, because that's what I can do with Shaco. Um, when I back, I should be able to get a whole Void Staff, which will be good for anyone who has any armor magic resist. Um, I don't know if their team is really getting magic resist, and apparently my team like wants to fight without like anyone there.
So, um, place boxes on every place that they could come from. Honestly, I know they're going to come kill me. At this point, I know I'm just going to die. So, yeah, I'm just going to have to fucking run like hell. She's going to be feared, and she's going to be feared twice. See, there's a glitch. Fear her. Alright, so she just... buy a needle so large rod and just build a new zonias. They don't have that much magic resist. I think we're gonna lose. So yeah, um I mean honestly I didn't really chaos this game, I just shut down Ash. Mm, see so yeah, I mean that hits pretty hard. Fucking beasted, bro. Wow, I can't believe I actually just got that kill. Uh oh, I'm gonna have to run. Should probably run. Whatever, dude. Oh shit, I'm Shaco. Oh god, I don't know if that'll kill me. Oh, that was lucky. Oh well, I should have flashed. I should have waited for Q to go and cool down. <sighs> oh nine, there God for the lose. I don't know how I just turned that, how long that's been turned off, but I'm like 13 and 6 now. Um, I don't know if, yeah, I'm just not really sure how long that's been off for. But sorry about that, guys. As you can see, my ship does about 743 damage. My death fire does a lot of damage. We're pretty much just like beast mode now. I mean, the reason I'm dying now is just the fact that I don't really have a team. Like, Singe just isn't tanking that well. I'm gonna, like, go in there with this. Just try and experiment around. See what's going on. And he just ate my ult, so that's cool. Pretty sure I do the most damage to him. And I didn't get arrowed by Ash. Go fight. Uh, and so we pick off their tank, but we're not going to actually engage anything because I guess we lost Katarina, who's not really doing anything. So, I'm not really sure what this team is doing at this point. Kind of surprised they haven't gotten an Oracles because I'm the only one killing them, but. Hmm. And now I'm just gonna do what every AP Shaker does when he's depressed, which is just stack boxes. Stack boxes and hope someone comes. This isn't that common of a place, and honestly, I should be at Baron right now. So I'm gonna go to Baron. We need a Baron, honestly, to boost our chances of winning. Yeah, that's like the stupidest thing ever. It just like gets rid of my 
stuff. So they know we're at Baron, which is unfortunate, but I don't know if they're going to stop us. Because I'm here and Miles can hold me. I want Miles to hold me, honestly. We did get Baron, so I guess free Baron's good. And now we should engage but not lose, which is a tough concept for this team. Wow, that arrow obliterated his face. And she flashed away. Oh, Jesus Christ. I could just turn around and own this bitch. Kind of tempted to. I want to kill Irelia too, but meh. 